Back here at home, a birthday celebration today for Hawaii's first astronaut, the late Ellison Onizuka, and it included a new beginning. If you recall, the Ellison Onizuka Space Center at Kona Airport had to close last year after 24 years there because of renovations. Well, it's found a new home now, and it opened today. The exhibits are now on permanent display at the Japanese Cultural Center of Hawaii in Mo'ili'ili. They not only feature Onizuka's personal items, but also the only moon rock in Hawaii and the spacesuit from Apollo 13 astronaut Fred Haynes. On hand for today's blessing, Onizuka's family, NASA astronaut Colonel Michael Fink, who spent time on the International Space Station, and former Governor Ari Oshie who has a story about a picture that survived the Challenger disaster. Ellison Onizuka came to see me one day and he wanted a family photo. And he wanted to take it up on a Challenger and he's going to bring it back, inscribe it, and autograph it. But that Challenger accident happened and I felt very sorry to lose Ellison. But I didn't even think about the photo. I thought everything else must have been destroyed completely. About two months later, Lauren Onizuka called me and told me that they found in the water, NASA found the uh, personal preference kit of uh, Elton Onizuka. And she said, there were two things in there. One was a monk, monk's uh, prayer, and the other was his family portrait. So I told her, oh, then it must be in terrible condition because the astronaut, uh, the, uh, the big bang up and the ocean in the water for two months. She told me, no, it's in perfect condition. I said, I'm going to bring the picture over to you and give, present it to you. And then in the meantime, NASA got the picture and they put this together for us. Uh. Oh. And the Kona location, nearly 8,000 students visited the center every year. Today would have been Ellison Onizuka's 71st birthday.